Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a doormat. I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, first of all, before we continue, please make sure you uh, press that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you can be notified of the next time that I do up. Uh, first things first, you might hear the dishwasher go on and off. My apologies for that. And also disregard the background. We're in the process of moving. So I, at this point, I don't even care what the background looks like. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the materials needed. I'm also gonna show you some of the things that I bought that I don't really think I need right now, but I may hold on to them or I may just take them back. First of all, you need a mat. Okay. I'm gonna be using this mat. This is uh, 18 by 30. I got this from Office Depot. It was like $10. You can get them from Ikea or Target. This one in particular has like um, the black rubber on the bottom. This is the Flex Seal Liquid Rubber Sealant Coating Spray. This is in the color black. I'm gonna be using another um, Flex Seal spray, but this one's in the color clear. There we go. This is the clear kind. I'm also going to be using an iron freezer paper which you can get from walmart some frog tape the biggest the biggest mat for the cricket which is the 24 inch one which is this one okay so i already have my design made up so this is what it looks like okay so it says the bergens established 2016. so the first thing that i'm going to do is print this out on the cricket so because it's such a big, um, it's a big project, I have to use, no, well it's not two mats because I only have the one 24 inch mat, but I have to cut two different times. So I'm gonna do the first cut, which one's the first one? So I'm gonna press continue. I'm just gonna cover the whole mat. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Under materials, I need to find parchment paper. Parchment paper, ding, ding, ding. And then, now I'm gonna show you guys this table. So I'm gonna take it on that and cover the whole thing. Okay. Measure this. This is not the neatest, but it doesn't matter. So you're gonna take the mat. the shiny side is up. I'm just gonna take this X-Acto knife and cut off the access. So, and again, this doesn't have to be made at all because it's not doing the whole thing. And I'm just gonna use the scissors at this point. Exacto knife at this point because it's not working. Smooth it down just like this, and now we're gonna cut. Actually, before I do that, let me, I need to cut off this established part. You have to be careful with this paper because it is thin. So this is the established 2016 portion. I gotta pull off the middle parts in a second. 
So now I'm gonna pull off this part of the stencil. As you can see, kind of, this is basically the outline of it, right? For the next cut, which is just the the, I'm just gonna reuse um, a piece that, I've, you know, from over here, from the scraps. Cause why are we gonna waste? So I'm gonna throw that on here, just like this. Oh, it's just across the top, okay. So honestly, I could cut this in half and just throw it up here, across the top, just like that. All right, and when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys how I arrange it on the mat. But now I need to position um, everything on the mat like I think that's somewhat the middle so let me bring this down I think that's where I want it. And then of course the the. I need to cut a portion of this off. It's kind of moved. The is definitely going here. Slanted. little piece for the E. And since I think this is positioned how I like, I'm gonna go ahead and secure it with this tape. Okay, now as you can see, I have everything laid down. So the next thing you wanna do is take your iron on the highest setting, but this is a little quicker at heating up. So I'm gonna use this to like push down some of the smaller details, like these missing parts first. And then I use the bigger iron for the rest of it. So the next thing that you want to do is go over some of the blank areas with the same, with either the tape or you can use more of this freezer paper because you're going to be spraying on it and you don't want the spray to go anywhere else. So I'm gonna do that really quickly.
Now we're going to use this Flex Seal Spray in black. And then what you're going to do is you're going to allow this to dry for about 10-15 minutes and then I'll be right back. While this is still covered, I'm going to go ahead and go over it with the clear um, flex seal and then I'm going to take the stencil off and this is going to sit outside for 24 hours. these smaller pieces off I'm just gonna use a toothpick